start by getting your thoughts on the performance and the result, please. Yeah, um, result-wise first, pleasing in the sense that, you know, it's been remarked upon this season, but they're the sort of games maybe over the last couple of seasons everyone wouldn't get something from. Um, I think the mentality is there. I think the physicality of the side was good again today. The will and desire to make sure we kept a clean sheet against a team who scored goals, we know that. And I think they could have gone joint top today, so that shows the season they're having. Obviously, with the ball, <coughs> excuse me, second half more so, we never really got a grip with the game. Um, although still had moments to try and, you know, find a, find a goal. And the first half, we have a key moment that, you know, if that goes in, it, it might change the way the game feels, but we, we didn't know, or we wouldn't know. Was there any disappointment from Dominic in the dressing room at half-time or full-time after that chance? No, not at all. I just keep reminding him that the further away it gets, the closer it gets. They're the stats of strikers, you know, and saying, oh, you know, it's going this many. It only gets closer. So, you know, one will go in. It was a good save, I thought, personally. I thought he did everything right. It's it hard, it's it low. Kid makes a good save. And, and how pleased we see Abdi to Corey back, which think his job today? Yeah, I thought he did well. He's, you know, come back in. Dwight's done excellently because he, he's he's had a near very serious injury. We've been very lucky. He literally trained yesterday morning. That's it. Um, and I checked that he was okay to try and get out there, and he said yes. Um, Seamus, of course, mustn't forget. Fantastic servant he is. What he's given to the side, you know, playing the the, the record number of games and all that today. You know, big day for him and, and deservedly so. So I'm pleased for him that we got some kind of result because it would have been uh, not an enjoyable moment for him. Um, but he, but he's deserved it. And when you look at the Palace, game, <coughs> like, when you look at the Palace game again last week, two clean sheets, two pretty decent performances and good results. How good is that as a foundation for going into 2024? For yeah, I think the Palace game, I thought we played well. Um, couldn't find the net, but, but looked solid. Today, slightly differently. I think they're a really good side. I think they've shown that. They've invested well, but they're coached very well. You can tell that. Um, they play a particular style. They hold the high line, which we obviously did capitalise on a couple of times and the, the one for a chance and a couple of close calls on it. Um, so, you know, pleased in a different way that the, the game didn't get away from us. We contained a lot of what they offered um, with very good defending. I thought the, the back five were very strong again today, um, particularly the two centre-halves, Miko, Seamus, as ever, Jordan with his calmness today, very pleased with that. Um, and the work ethic of the team in front of them as well, because like I say, they're a good outfit and, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're showing that this season. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi, Sean. Um, you said last week that you thought VAR might, might need to be tidied up a little bit, uh, decision going against you. Today you had a decision that went in your favour. Does that colour your opinion at all? Uh, no, because I, I couldn't believe how long it took. It's a foul on Dan Juma. Don't worry about the offside. He's coming off the post. The lad drags him to the floor. It's a foul, so I don't really... I know we talk about, well, who's deciding what decision, but the one that I talk about to so the powers that be is... You can make all these rules, but at the end of the day, there should be an override button that says that's a foul, end off. So therefore, don't even worry about the offside because it's a foul. That way, it cleans it up very quickly. We all get on with it and no one's worried about it. So that's all I'd ask today. It was the right outcome, uh, thankfully, because you never know, but it was the right outcome. But I just didn't think it needed to take that time. I don't think a lot of these things need to take that time, but it, I think there is a bit of nervousness about it all. There's a lot of noise about it all. We keep getting asked about it. We have to give an opinion, of course. I still believe in it, but I just think things like today could have been done that quick. Yeah, did you get any explanation from any officials as to why it took so long? No, I don't need to worry about that. Which is, there's enough going debate. You know, these guys are under a lot of scrutiny at the moment because partly because of performance VAR and all the rest of it. I'm just saying try and speed the game up. I've mentioned it endlessly. I don't like going to the screen. I can't see the point. Virtually every single day. I think there's one out of 59 or some stat that has been overturned. Um, the rest of them go with what they're told in there is. So, you know, I just think we could tidy it up and speed it up for the fans, I think. Sorry, just one more on this. Um, obviously, we've had a couple of players who've been injured as well recently when offsides have been allowed to carry on. Uh, yeah, it's a tough one, that. I mean, th that's the powers that be, though, because the referees are officiating amongst the rules they're given. I know the force definitely get frustrated by it because the fact is, as you say, on a wrong moment, luckily there's been no serious ones, but are coming together, a clash of heads and that sort of moment. And then the flag goes up. But it's, it's, it's a tough, you know, how do you, how do you make sure of that? We all get frustrated by it. But on the other hand, if you, if you let it go, nothing happens and they score and then it turns out they're on side. How do you, how do you make that call? It's a tight call, I think, that one. So I'm not going to judge that. I think it's a, it's a tough one for the powers that be and for the referees to administer. 
Sean, I think it's 13 games now since Dominic last scored. Does it become a confidence thing with him? I mean, what do you put that run down to? Well, like I say, I mean, he's, he's, he's fit. That's a good start. Um, consistently fit. One wheel go in. There's a good run today. Good ball, good run. Just to finish, and I thought the ref, uh, the ref sorry, the, the keeper made a good, uh, good save. But like I said earlier, the, the stats come back towards you. You know, that's what I used to think. When I was a centre-half, you play against centre-forwards who, who were flying, they're scoring all that. Weirdly, I used to worry less about them than the one when they haven't scored in a while. Because the stats start coming back towards him. The stats will be in his favour massively now. You know, it's as long as he keeps applying himself, keeps running hard, keeps working hard, the stats will be massively in his favour to score a goal. I mean, the headline kind of certainly on social media and in the press maybe will be about the lack of goals but what else is he bringing to the team apart from just yeah I, 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 I hope he's not worried about that I'm, I've been pleased with the fact that he's fit he's out there training all the time he's working hard amongst a group that are working very hard that's what we want we want clarity in the players thoughts and the minimum is the minimum requirement is maximum effort you've heard me say it before we're getting that we're getting that out of all of these players and I value it oh. <coughs> Um, Sean, tomorrow, tomorrow the Premier League are meant to be um, clarifying about PSR, profit and sustainability. What, what has the club said to you about where, where Everton are at? Nothing at the moment, just waiting on the news, you know, because um, the last time the news came out of the blue, as you know, I explained that to you. Um, so it might do tomorrow, I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Sorry, I can't hear you without the microphone. Sorry, if, if there was another... Thank you, that was a joke. Thank you. I, I, they were all a bit worried there because I did make a joke last week, you know, about Arnie Danjuma getting a flight somewhere and people actually printed it as being real. A bit disconcerting for me, a bit weird about modern life when they actually... Someone thought, I know, apart from getting clickbait, of course, someone thought, I know, that might be real. Really? <sighs> Anyways. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, you've got a mic now, so I can't hear you. <laughs> Just on that, if, if there was something negative to happen, another charge or any, anything, how kind of unsettling that could that be for the You team? don't know until you know. So therefore, I'll explain further if and when the news comes through.